Well, we are learning more tonight about the man suspected of stabbing an MATC student right on campus. We're not naming him. He has not been charged yet, but Chip Brewster reports there may have been warning signs. He was a very involved student. As a former student at MATC, Sarah Aguado was surprised to learn one of her former peers had stabbed someone in a classroom. Police say the 24-year-old male suspect had likely attacked the 24-year-old female victim over a domestic dispute. Aguado says it doesn't sound like the guy she remembers. He did a lot of stuff with student government. He helped a lot of people. He was very active in the student body. He was always on campus, always involved in something. So involved that as editor-in-chief of the school paper, Aguado wrote a feature article on how he had turned his life around. She wrote about the man's difficult childhood, his bipolar schizophrenic mother, the absence of a father, entering the foster care system at age five. The suspect told her of his teen years spent in a gang and how at 19 he chose to change his life for the better. I wouldn't have even approached to do the article if I didn't feel that he was a positive influence on the student body. But more recent court records show a different kind of man. In March, his now ex-girlfriend and stabbing victim filed a restraining order against him. She explained to the court how he would threaten, harass, and physically abuse her. The suspect violated the order four days after its filing and was arrested for sexually assaulting a different woman not long after that. Did you ever feel unsafe going to MATC? Never. Though Aguado's time at MATC is over, she says the recent events do not make her feel any differently about the school that gave her so much. As far as real life connection, like to what the real world is going to throw at you, that's MATC. The suspect is currently being held on attempted homicide related to domestic violence charge. No word yet, though, on when he will be officially charged. As for the victim at last update, she was still in critical condition. Ann and Brad. Thank you for that update.